Outdoor Scholars TV is brought to you by Alabama Power, Moultrie, The Management Advantage, Summit Tree Stands. And of course we had to stop here at a seafood joint. This one here is Crawlin Seafood. We just got done eating some food. The guys are finishing up right here. Um, and we're just here to live the experience. This is something I've never done. I'm from Minnesota. We've got guys from around the country doing this. It's really cool. Um, our program is pretty amazing the way you can get an education, but get outdoors and do these trips. We're really looking forward to getting after the red fishing. We're going to head to camp right after this, but wanted to check in with you guys. All right, so uh, we're going to still leave at 7 in the morning. Okay. It'll be me and Captain Root. Okay, awesome. We're excited. Yeah. Yes, sir. Alright guys, Trent Gilmore here with Outdoor Scholars. So I've been red fishing before, but I've never been down to Venice, so it's supposed to be something special. So hopefully we can get on some. I'm pumped up. Oh, Venice. So we're out here using a popping cork and we're putting the shrimp on a jig head. Just throwing it out, slow pauses, waiting for your bobber to go down. That's about it. Yeah, I was lucky to get the couple I got. You just never know how to sit. Oh, there it goes. I got it. Set the hook. You got a double. Double. One right here. One's coming in. Yes, sir. There we go. Triple. There he is. Is it staying towards the top? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a red. You're getting close to the limit. We 
just had us a good day out on the water. We probably caught over 60 reds, catch and release, plus our limit. We uh, leaving our little shore bank here. We heading back to the barn and see if we can go cook up some fish tonight and uh, see if we can get some good full bellies. What's up guys, we just got off the water. Um, we're hanging out here at the marina now. Um, I think our boat caught around 80 fish, the other boat caught around 75, so we really caught them today. We were off the water by like 11, um, limits by eight. So it was a really good day of fishing. Um, we just pulled in here to Venice Marina, we ate a little lunch, and we're gonna head back to camp, clean some fish, and hang out. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Where do you wanna go there, guy? No, you can throw them in there. No way. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty cool. The place we're staying is right next to this levee. And it really is like a totally different experience here seeing these people that live down here in uh, Venice, Louisiana, they're actually like under the sea level. It keeps them all protected if there's a storm surge or something. Uh, I just figured it'd be cool to show you guys since we're here in beautiful Venice, Louisiana. This is what we do for our customers every night. We cook, we feed them, and we vacuum seal their fish. No one else on the Gulf Coast does this. Look at that. Redfish, baby, you can't beat it. Number one. That's how we do it at Native Adventures, y'all. We do it fresh, right from the bite. Homegrown. I'm a native, been doing it 35 years, guys.